What if Tesla bought a tire company? I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. How is everybody? Coming in loud and clear, I hope. This is the full version you're watching of the show, which comes out on Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific on the second channel. Or maybe you're a time traveler and you're watching this in the future on the main channel. It is whichever one is up on the screen. Thanks to everybody who helped me get to the thousand subscribers and the needed watch time. Much appreciated. Hello to everyone. Hello, Rob and John and Digital Blade and Hockey Day and Paul. Who is this? Of course, we've been chatting. Ah, good stuff. Welcome, Mark. Welcome all. Thank you for the super chats. I appreciate that so much. We can finally do that. Oh, man, that's the wrong one. Of course it is. Quick welcome to newest Patreon member, Jamie Von Tees. Thank you for your decision to support the channel. Have you ever heard that uh, Tesla has a service problem and it needs to get addressed as soon as possible? I've heard that. It's tough, man. Building it out from nothing takes time. It's something that's going to have to happen. And it's difficult. So when I was in Texas, uh, Larry su suggested this topic. He, he thought, what if they bought discount tire and wheel? Tesla's aiming to improve service and make majority of appointments same-day repairs. Boy, that'd be nice. And in some ways it's improved, but in some places it hasn't. There's a lot of gaps in the map. So who? Well, discount tire and wheel. Yeah, who are they? What benefit do they have? What could you actually get? Well, you'd get a lot of people. You'd get 25,000 people. You'd get 1,000 locations. Everywhere except the Northeast. We'll get to the map in a minute, and you can tell me if your area is covered. Hello, Wendelin. Discount Tire. Big company. Five billion in revenue. 25,000 plus employees. A little out of date. Probably pretty accurate. Grew from a one-man operation to huge. Here's the map. Are you covered? This is getcha. I think this is up to date. I believe it is. <laughs> you can buy this list for $85. <laughs> Why would I do that? Oh, Scrape Hero, you're terrible. So how much is a company worth? Well, if a typical price-to-earnings ratio is 15, is it? And the projected earnings are 200000 a year, the business would be worth $3 million. So 15 times $5 billion? What? $75 billion? That seems high to me. How to value a business? So uh, looking at a tea shop. I want to buy a tea shop. What's it worth? For instance, a business might typically sell for two times sales or one time sales. So a one to two price multiple. And so let's look at some uh, averages. Auto and truck, 2.7. Auto parts, 1.37. Yeah, these are more reasonable. Green and renewable, eight. Ooh. Yeah, two to three is about right. Sorry, my face itches. How a broke 30-year-old became uh, America's billionaire tire king. So the thing is, he started from nothing, sold good value tires for good prices. We are approached, and we won't even talk about it, because if we talk about it, it'll start the rumors, and we're not going to sell. So maybe they're not for sale. Oh, Bruce Howe, discount tire founder and Arizona's richest man, passed away five years ago. So maybe it is for sale. Maybe it is. Uh, everything's for sale. But what they don't offer is kind of the problem. They only do tires and wheels. In the pre-show chat, we were discussing that these locations may not have enough floor space to actually do the servicing needed for, an, for the sort of services you would expect from a Tesla shop. And that's possible. They don't do oil changes, alignments, brakes, batteries, or anything like that. That could be a problem. You might need more space. 
But boy, getting 25,000 people is no small feat. Well, let's look at Les Schwab. They do more stuff. They're only in the West, though. And I'm not saying buy Les Schwab, although you could. I, I have some misgivings about Les Schwab. They offer a service called siping on tires, which is bad for them and costs extra money to give you less performance. The only study that says it's actually good, uh, the author has a thousand times said, that's not what my study found. So this is what, uh, some B-roll at Discount Tire. I don't know. Why not? Why not? Hmm. This topic is going faster than I expected. <laughs> so Les Schwab, are they for sale? They've got all these good things going on. Number of locations, 478. Now they're, again, mostly in the West. Les Schwab sold to California investment firm against revenue of $1.8 billion. Bloomberg reported the owners had hoped for a $3 billion deal, so less than two times revenue. So if a company like this could be bought, it could be bought cheap. $10 billion in all stock? I mean, they could pay cash, but why? Pay stock. We've got the shareholder meeting coming up. The number of shares on offer is set to expand. Pay stock. 1.6 billion in revenue, 450 stores, might be a little out of date, but still interesting. So why? Why do Tesla tires wear out so fast? Question I have for you guys in the chat. I had a couple questions. One is, uh, um, how, how do you fit on that map? If you're in the US, were you on that map? But the next question is for you Tesla owners, how long do you get out of your tires? It just seems like the sort of thing as Larry suggested, that you get people who <laughs> are buying tires so often, might as well make it part of the service center, right? Might as well. They're there anyway. Uh, yeah. Is it like, uh, you know, with, with, with your old ice car, every 3,000 miles, got to take it in and replace the tires. You know why. It's because they're heavier because they're torquier. It's because they're so much more fun to drive. Yeah, you're going to push it a bit. So, Les Schwab, locations all over the place. Tons of locations. More specifically, Alaska, California, Colorado. Yeah, the West. Oregon, Utah, Wyoming. It's a thing that could happen. I don't know. This does feel like a little bit of oversaturation. Maybe that's a problem. One thing I'd mentioned in the chat was if Sears Auto Centers had gone bankrupt later, those would make fine Tesla stores because they were in every city and they were quite big and real estate in those areas was about to get real cheap. But a lot of them have been torn down. It just doesn't make sense. Digital Blade Canada says, it's just physics. Yeah, it wears down faster due to the friction. Car is, is heavy, wears tires out. That's right. Tesla needs a higher uh, UTG tire, which is mileage warranty. Uh, yeah, harder compounds last longer at the sacrifice of the handling of a softer tire compound. Yeah. We'll get to the we'll get to the Q and A hole in a bit. Uh, we're almost done here, if you can believe it. This is one of my shorter ones. We're gonna just have some time to chat. But the cars are coming off warranty, and as they come off warranty, they're gonna have. Uh, this will become, in some regards, a profit center, certainly a revenue center, if not profit. Discount Tire and Wheel is already profitable, we believe. I don't see why they wouldn't be. They're well established. They know what they're doing. There's no reason they... They could, in the beginning, dedicate one or two bays to Tesla 
specific services and continue to provide services for everyone else. I don't know what you'd call the company. Discount Tesla Tire and Wheel? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not even change the name. Maybe keep the name. I don't know. If you get rid of the word discount, I think you might lose some of your customers. Tough to say. So, yeah. Ah, oh, man, I've got everything just out of order. Good stuff. So we're going to handle the questions. Um, I might be taking my kids to dinner tonight. So if you have any suggestions on that, I'd love to hear that as well. Big thanks, as always, to my patrons. My patrons, you guys, keep the channel running. I appreciate it so much. So let's start dealing with questions, huh? Hmm. I'm going to put this on screen. Don't make me, don't make me regret it, you guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, it's pretty big. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, hello, Jeff. Good to see you. I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. I showed my kids pictures of ground control. They're excited. We had a flat tire in our Tesla in Texas. Mm. Uh, they would invest in, thank you, Charlie. I appreciate the super chat. Ah, it was a long road, my friend. I wasn't, I, I uh, had to back it out of my assumptions. We'll say that. Uh, did I miss? Uh, thank you to Mark for the super chat. And up here I had a, who is this? with the mega super chat and also Stevie Z. Stevie Z, thank you so much. And look at this beast up here. Oh, you can't even see it. Huh. Maybe we should end the poll. End the poll. Boom. Very generous, thank you. We said it was for all the unmonetized videos. I appreciate that. Oh, wow, we did a lot of pre-show chat. We love getting in early and hanging out. They would invest in or buy uh, Vale Valley before they bought a tire company. They need silver more than rubber. Musk already has spoke about them. That's a good point. That's a good point. Hmm. The tough thing with mining is it's a commodity, so I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. Want the Cybertruck invincible? Camping in mountains? Somehow make porcupines not eat them? Um, Hockey Day. Uh, discount Tire is not franchise. It is corporate. Les Schwab has, I think, 54 uh, franchises out of their 500-ish locations. Would anybody carry a spare? I wouldn't, but just wondering. Hmm, that's a good question. Cybertruck looks like it has a spare tire well. I think that would be important to a number of uh, off-road enthusiasts. Thank you for the super chat, Jeff. Appreciate it. Our Texas tire adventure is worthy of a segment of a show. The foam in the tires was an obstacle. I think you mentioned that to me. Ah, I think you mentioned that, that you had to go somewhere else and they figured it out. Run flats, don't need a spare, drive to the tire shop. <clears throat> Uh, for a car, maybe, but for a Cybertruck, if you're off-roading, you may, you may need, I don't know if a run-flat will get you, oh, buffering, I don't know if a run-flat will get you where you need to go. Charlie thinks that Tesla might be able to get away without the oil changes. It's tough to say. It's tough to say. But when it comes to, like, a, a recall or a repair like that, the space needed will vary greatly. Tesla could also maybe get the materials dudes to come up with some less environmentally bad. Um, they're working on that. That is something that they are... Oh, you mean on the tires. So Elon was asked in an interview, might have been on Joe Rogan, uh, why don't they invent better tires? And Elon said, they've been building tires. People have been researching the best tires for 100 years. They've got it dialed in. There's not a lot of room to make them better. Digital Blade Canada, 
Thank you so much. Jeff, I have not liked Les Schwab. I, I also, I went in to get tires from a van, which I haven't done yet. And they said, well, here's three tire options. This one, it's bad. We're, I don't even think we should talk about it. This one, I mean, if you're only planning on having the car for another year, I mean, I guess you could get them or buy these $300 tires. And also you should get the siping where we slice lines in it. And I said, your, your $150 tires are not good because, well, I mean, they're, and I don't remember what they were. Maybe they were 200 ish. He's like, well, they're, they're good, but only if you're going to have the car for a year or two. And I was like, buddy, you overplayed your hand. If you're that concerned, if your good tires are not good, I'm not interested. Make better tires. And by the way, if siping was something you needed, Les Schwab manufactures tires. Wouldn't they just do that at the factory? And the answer is yes. Yes, they would. So their service is great. Uh, their prices are, I have no idea, reasonable. I don't know. Um, haven't really compared. Uh, in the past, I've had great luck with Costco. A little pricey, but fantastic tires. I had some Schwab done. I uh, worked on at Schwab in Puyallup. Would not recommend. Yeah. It's, it's no Firestone. Maybe Firestone's gotten better, but Firestone has quite a reputation for for pricing, for offering you things you may not need. Let's put it that way. Tire companies have been coming up with the next-gen tires for decades. Yeah, I had some, mm -hmm. No one was authorized to work on Tesla foam quieted tires, even though they simply needed to be rebalanced. Need more specialized employees? Teslas are computers on wheels. It's really hard to find people who already have those skills, who already have any skills right now because everybody's working. And the boomer generation is retiring now at a rate of 300,000 a month. That's, that makes it tricky to find folks and keep them. The market's tight and anybody can learn a skill. I mean, I, I guess I shouldn't say anybody. Um, Maybe I could learn to do TikTok dances, but I don't think I'm going to try. Tesla had no one near Houston that could do the repair. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Where are all these next gen tires then? They never come to fruition, and they are the tire experts. I don't hear as much about those. I hear about the, the miracle breakthrough batteries. And we and Jordan Giesegi from The Limiting Factor uh, helped me address that in an interview a while back. Yeah, they're great. Those miracle batteries are wonderful. They can do anything except leave the lab. It's just physics. Yeah, tires wear fa down faster due to friction. Tesla needs, oh yeah. Firestone ended up repairing it for us and only charged 20 bucks after an hour of sweating it. That's great. And 20 bucks, that's, I mean, to have a professional service done of any sort, 20 bucks is as close to free as you're going to get. We pay more than that to get our dog's nails trimmed. But they have a higher tolerance for getting bitten than we do. Teddy. Just need more tread depth. Yeah, yeah. Endless tread depth. That's what I want to see. Mm -hmm. Famous Dave's. Don't have one close enough. It's a good suggestion. Let's see. Elon is usually on time. Is usually not on time, but always comes through. Yeah. Oh, it adds more reciprocating mass, adding more tread depth. Great point. Great point. Uh, rotating mass. Maybe Tesla can buy GM. Why? Why? <laughs> now they'll, they'll, uh, uh, the individual dealerships will do fine. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Tires on my Mustang remind me of uh, the Firestone 721. They never last of the year. Really? That bad? Most of the Tesla service centers I've seen are old because ice, because ice dealerships, uh, or b bankrupt ice dealerships. I've seen a lot of those too. Paul, um, are you thinking of the one in Renton? Because I think that was an old car dealership. Uh, 
Rob says, what would it cost to retrain the acquired company's workers? How much time? Well, if you need the workers, you'd have to train them either way. This is a brilliant idea, since the tire service companies are less evil versus the traditional auto service market. Yeah, is the issue with Tesla, their service DNA might be from awful internal combustion engine services? Maybe. Daniel, you're not late, you're just in time. Oh, Paul, when stonks up? Oh my gosh, I don't know. If <laughs> I'm starting to think that this is going to be a difficult quarter for generally. So, do they even make run flats for such a heavy car? I thought so. Don't they use them in... Uh, like the armored BMWs and whatnot? The safety, you know, the security kind of cars? Not sure. Elon wanted the Cybertruck to run the Baja with no modifications. Oh, how long is it? Would the charge make it? That's, that's a good one. Current Model 3 cars are run flat, Paul thinks. <laughs> Airless plastic tires still look awesome. Still in testing. Yeah, those are difficult. White walls. Yeah. Mail order tires from Amazon. Interesting. Interesting. I order tires from Tire Rack and have them delivered to a local installer. Go there, get them installed. Tire Rack, I think, is a subsidiary of Discount Tire. I think... Discount Tire owns them. I'm not sure. It was in one of my notes. Hockey Day works for a rubber manufacturer. A lot of work goes into rubber for the tires. It has to. In terms of heat dissipation, in terms of working across a range of temperatures, there's a lot that goes into that. Discount Tire is the best shop I've ever used. I've had good luck with them too. Wendelin, thank you. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're having fun. I'm having fun. I don't know about you guys. You're here, so on a Friday night. So this is fun. When my son was little, we were at the store and he had a revelation. He was like, oh, is this your idea of fun? Just walking around a store? It's like, yes. And that story was retold recently at a holiday. And he's like, well, now that I'm older, I get it. I get it. I just want to get out of the house. And grown-ups don't go to playgrounds. At least not the same kind. Yeah. Paul says, they've been working on those airless tires for decades. Wouldn't hold my breath. Yeah. Tires are tires. <laughs> Drop your TikTok. It's a good idea. I like Michelins, but winter hecapalitas and summer stocks for my coming Model Y. $5 for a Dremel uh, trim at the shop I go to. Uh, yep, Renton. And the new one opening in Fife is the same. Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't... I haven't spent much time in Fife. The Beast uses run flats. I imagine Teslas are nothing. Buying a tire shop... The tire business gives Tesla locations and facilities. Tesla could keep the third-party tire business going while transitioning some base to test the service. And I think that's what Larry was getting at when he suggested the topic generally. It's an idea. Uh, if Elon had taken my advice on a lot of things, Tesla would not be where it is today. Because I would have taken a much more conservative approach that would have let the company languish in obscurity and never reach scale. Cars that levitate and don't need tires. John, the best tire is no tire. You got it. Still waiting to see the submarine. We know he bought the Lotus from James Bond's uh, movie. Ah, the Beast. Right, the Beast is a nickname of the president's limo. Why do they make it look like a Cadillac? It's not a Cadillac. It's, it's hand-built from scratch. And then just... It's like 
NASCAR putting the little floppy shell over a over a steel cage machine. Pretty fun. We are ahead of schedule, quite clearly. <laughs> Maybe we'll wind it down. Last thing, though, I need more suggestions if I'm going to take my kids out to dinner. I had barbecue yesterday, so I don't want that. Famous Dave's is dinner idea. Yeah, don't have one handy. I am not Famous Dave's adjacent. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Elon Musk has courage. I do not have. In the interview with Jose Caldino, Calvino, he was saying, uh, he pointed me to an article where it said Elon Musk was the most risk-averse CEO because all these crazy things he's done are the smart things. They're the things that others lack the courage to do, and not because they're risky, but because they're hard. Five guys don't have one handy. We had one in, in town. It had barely opened when lockdown hit, and they didn't make it. Really frustrating. There was another business in town. Oh my gosh. Italian restaurant coming soon, right on the river. Beautiful location. Coming soon, grand opening soon, lockdown. Signs are down. It's for, sites for lease. It's just heartbreaking to think of this. I mean, they they must have put everything into it. <laughs> Digital Blade Canada, you had barbecue yesterday and you don't want to have it again today? Unsubbed. You know, even as I said it, I was having the same thought. We have a pretty fantastic barbecue place not far from here that I would actually keep on my list. It's good to see you, Cameron Joseph. Good to see you. I mean, good to see your words in Avatar. How about that? Oh, yeah, I might do barbecue. I might do barbecue. Uh, let's see, any channel news? Um, for those not on Patreon, the mega drama that I've been dealing with lately has passed. It, uh, there was some issues, and they have been resolved. So that's good. It took a little more time than I hoped, a little more money than I hoped, but uh, it was fine. It worked out. And uh, and Jeff can ask me about it in person next week when we get together. Let's see. Airless Twheels are good off-road now, but pricey. That's, uh, that's interesting. All righty, guys. A lot of fun. Happy Friday. Uh, very exciting stuff. What did I miss or misunderstand? Leave me all your thoughts in them comments below. Your wisdom, your blind and brilliance. And stay tuned. Stay juicy. And I cannot wait to hear from you clever robots on the flippity-flop. <laughs>